Tai Fan. When translated to English, this is vegetable rice. But this colloquial term has now come to be known as economic rice. With over 30 dishes to choose from, the meal is known for its variety of choice, convenience, and more importantly, economical price point. But of late, we've been seeing this. I was charged $10.10 for the Kai Fan at Commonwealth MRT Station Khufu. Economic rice, but not economic anymore. $6 plus for two each and one meat. This Kai Fan costs $9.20. I've been seeing disgruntled consumers airing their Taifan grievances online. So in this episode, I'm serving up some Taifan to investigate if our economic rice is still as economical. Yes, what would you like? But first, I want to know, while it's called economic rice, was it even meant to be economical? My producer has brought me to... This is the cost of my Thai fan now. This is why it cost back then. A magic show? This is how Thai fan became so common in Singapore. A few months ago, freelance magician and content creator Bertram Young dug into the history of economic rice. I've been having Thai fan for 20 over years and I can feel the increase in price along the way. So I got really curious, wanting to know how exactly it came about. So how did economic rice actually come about? So how economic rice came about, specifically in Singapore, uh, is post-war. We were going through a tough period. People were starving. So economic rice was a solution for the people. It was an economical way to feed the masses, right. is that Yep. So the concept of economic rice back then was slightly different. You get one meat, one veg and rice plus a drink. When economic rice first came out, it yeah. was 35 cents. The thing about it was uh, even 35 cents back then were considered pretty high, especially post-war. So the, that's where the social welfare department stepped in. They started kitchens to mass produce, mm -hmm. buying ingredients in bulk. Okay. And that's where they were able to lower the price to 8 cents. Wow. Yes. Eight cents right. for a plate of rice with one meat, one veg and a drink. Yes. Along the way, people became well off and they are able to afford better meals with more options. And how has the price of economic rice changed over the years? So it's no magic that the price increased. The average price of economic rice of two veg, one meat, yeah. has changed quite a bit. So 2014, we are looking at an average price of $3.09. And in 2022, we have $3.58. And that's about like a 16% increase. So it's natural that we have got the prices of chai fan increasing because we've got inflation and also the rising cost of living. But it also depends on where you get your chai fan that will determine whether it's economical or not. The average cost of economic rice with two vegetables and one meat has been hovering below $4. That's not too bad for a full meal. So, where are all the expensive Thai fan dishes coming from? I know where to buy the cheapest economic rice because I've analysed over 500 stalls. This was all for Teo K Key's research, Makan Index 2.0, covering 18 food and drink items like mirubus, roti prata, and of course, economic rice. Look at this spread. You didn't tell me that was lunch. Yeah. <laughs> so we actually visited 26 neighbourhoods and okay. we surveyed over 500 stalls. Mm -hmm. Can you guess which neighbourhood had the most expensive economic rice? I don't know. I'm guessing like Bishan? No, we actually found it in Marine Parade as oh. well as Kalang. Really? Yes. And how much was the economic rice there? So the most expensive one we found was 570. 570 was the most expensive for this standard two veg, one meat kind of meal. Yes. What was the cheapest? The cheapest was 220. Oh, 220. And I'm guessing it would be somewhere in like Jurong East because it's a bit far out. We actually also found a 220 in Kalang. Oh, really? Yes. 
How is that possible within Kallang to have the most expensive and the cheapest as well? Well, Kallang itself is a large area. So uh, there are different parts that cater to different demographics. Mm -hmm. The cheapest was actually found somewhere near Gelang Baru okay. and cost 220 And the most expensive one was located nearer to Novena and it cost 570 so when we looked at the more expensive economic rise in Kalang, they are more centrally located, they cater more to an office crowd. Mm. In these places, the price of food actually is higher. But in other parts of Kalang, the food establishments actually cater more to the dwellers in the HDB blocks. Right. These places tend to charge cheaper. So that's quite a big variation of almost $3. How is it that prices can vary that much? So there are several factors that may affect the cost of economic rice. And this includes the rental of the store, ingredient costs, okay. as well as the utilities of the store. If there are a lot of competing stalls selling other attractive dishes that people tend to choose for their meals, yep. uh, this place could actually price the economic rice lower. Another factor is uh, possibly in the older HDB estates, the coffee shops have been there for quite a while okay. and they do charge much lower most of the time okay. because they know their customers better. Right, right. So they are less likely to increase by a drastic amount. Okay, so in other words, just kind of knowing your, your customers, customer base, right? That if you charge $3, some of them may say, sorry, too much for me. So like two eighty may be the sweet spot at this area. Yes, that seems to be the case. The survey strictly focused on a combination of two vegetables and one meat and stalls that were located in residential neighbourhoods, which explains why the most expensive meal was just $5.70. As for exorbitant Thai funds, Keiki tells me they are more likely from eateries where there's high human traffic or those in malls located downtown. But when it comes to our Thai fund grouses, it's not just the high costs. It's been reported that between January to mid-October this year, Singapore's consumer watchdog received 11 complaints on economic rice pricing, mainly about unclear and inconsistent prices displayed at stalls. So, I'm getting to the root of this, and there's only one way around it. Some have referred to the pricing of Taifan as erratic, calling out for more transparency. Are the prices really as arbitrary as you claim them to be? There's only one way to find out, and this is serious business. need to first survive seven and a half hours of lessons and assessments. This is a food safety course, mandatory for all food handlers working in stalls licensed by the Singapore Food Agency. Okay. It covers basic food handling hygiene, proper food storage practices, and with this final written assessment, Then. I can finally work at an economic rice store. This stall at Sarangoon serves over a hundred customers a day. Work starts at 9 a.m. The kitchen crew of three, including me, have two hours to prepare all the dishes before the lunch crowd streams in. I've been here for about an hour and a bit now. This is dish number, I don't know, like number three, number four. And guess what? There are 40 dishes to be cooked. Oh my gosh. I'm not sure if I can make it. <laughs> This is a full-on workout.
顾客来了，先问顾客是你要吃要包的。这个菜是我们算七毛，这个菜比较贵一点，算快二是花菜来的。一个部分是怎么样算？你给我一份，好像如果这个我打包的，哦、你打包是这样是算一份的，一份是七毛。哇，这个会不会很准？<笑>如果你不是做别人做，会不会少一点，还是多一点？哦，少一点是多一点，不用紧啊。那个是菜，如果他们要吃鱼，我看有有这个鱼，这个鱼，这个鱼我们算大小的，如果大是贵一点，小的是小。哦，这个一个鱼是有不一样的吗？哦、哪一个是大的？大的是三块，小的两块半。那这样是算一个菜一个肉一个鱼，鱼是算肉鱼还是不一样？没不一样的，肉是我们算块二。我们全部肉都不一样，成片去大片的是三块，猪扒的两块半，三块。OK，, okay. 还有炸鸡是块半来的。这个价钱全部都不一样，自己你一个人都知道全部的。对。那如果是别人会不会一样的价钱？别人顾客买，我们有一个那个单放在那边。Hello， 打包的。OK。Seventy cents, a dollar twenty, two fifty. There are just too many varied prices for me to remember. And this was bound to happen. This is $4. No, $3.7. $3.7. Two rows, one side. I estimated the cost at $4.50, but I was wrong. It was only $3.70. So don't buy from me because it's more expensive. There is a price chart placed right here next to the cashier. Sir, do you know how much this will cost? No. Don't know. Do you ever check the prices? Don't know. Uh, okay. Do you know, sir, how much your dish will cost? Maybe two something. Uh. Do you know how much this pork chop costs? Um, not really sure how much. Around two dollars. Okay. Do you ever check the list, sir? Uh? Never. Never. Yeah. Okay. But even if customers do check the price list, it's almost impossible to know how much your selection will cost. It's a very confusing list. There is rice and just rice. Prices can range from 70 cents to $1.20 just for bean curd. The cost of meat dishes is also different under takeaway. I'm asking my Taifan mentor what all this means. Why is this menu price list so complicated? I don't understand. Help me. This is one meat, one meat, two meat. It's one meat. 才七毛，然后翻六毛就是两块半。OK， 这边比较清楚，可以是 standard 的。可是我看这些东西好像这边菜 ，broccoli 还有 vegetables。broccoli 是 vegetable 吗 ？broccoli 是比较贵嘛，我们哦上是不同的菜啦。对，这里写 broccoli 快二百了吗？那这边也有肉，为什么肉在菜这边？就是我们那个菜跟肉一起炒啊，就酸酸肉的啊，对。这边我看打包的，为什么价钱不一样？好像肉是三块到五块。就是你打包那个肉嘛，一个肉罢了，额外的一大包的，就是最少三块的。哦，我这个不是没有饭啊，这个没有饭的，只是肉肉罢了。白饭为什么有六毛，还有只是白饭一块？对，就是你买一个白饭都没有什么东西的。啊，就是一块钱，一块钱的饭嘛，比六毛的饭多一点点。我看这边有一些有 plus plus 的，好像这个 pork belly、pork chop 有两块 plus plus， 这些没有 plus plus， 为什么？本来他们来的不一样的，有一些很大，有一些很少嘛，很小嘛。如果大是两块半的，很大的是三块的，是那个。Okay, I don't think it's any more clearer to me. I mean, I now know the rationale behind the prices, but there's just a lot of variations to consider. Having a price list would hold stalls accountable to the prices they are charging, but it needs to be easily understood. I wonder, are there other ways we can minimize conflicts between economic rice stall owners and customers? So I decided to set up what could be Singapore's first unofficial Thai Fun Association. Dedicated to keeping peace between Thai Fun stalls and customers. For our inaugural meeting, I've invited Lau Kong Chin. He's a marketing expert who knows how to influence consumer behavior through subtle nudges. 
I've also gathered two economic rice stall owners, Rene Lin, the owner of the Taifan stall I worked at, and Novastin Tan, the owner of a Halal Taifan stall. They have been selling economic rice for over five years. So these are new stuff, and a different new stuff probably is not familiar with the, the okay. pricing and may also have an issue with uh, uh, you know, identifying the right price for the right Right, dish. right. So, so let me ask you guys, because you both own Taifan stalls, I mean, is that true what he's saying? Like this fish that I have here, some guy sells it for 150, the other guy is 180. But I don't think all customers are fortunate to come to your store. I think there are some experiences where people got scolded when they asked for prices. Mm. For this issue of price transparency, I actually have a solution. Okay. Let me show you this. Using these tags with different colours yeah. to put at different dishes. And then if you put the sign along, this will tell us this is for meat and this is how much it's going to cost. I mean for new staff, I'm sure they, they will also help them to identify oh, this is uh, one dollar. So basically each pack represents one price. If people know how much this dish is going to cost. Do you think it's feasible to have different colours for different prices? Okay. Two issues. Firstly, it's hygiene issue. Okay. The clicks are dipping in different sauce. Okay. So that is very unhygienic. Right? Secondly, is people start to think that, oh, how much is this? Oh, this is $150 plus $2. Okay. Plus three. Your queue is going to be very, very long for economic Thai fun. It's fast. Right. You need to serve and go, serve okay. and go. Our Taifan stall owners were quick to veto a solution presented to them. Okay, so how about another solution where we zone the dishes based on yeah, like, prices? What do you think? Can our stall holders finally agree on a solution? And I'll reveal some hacks for your next Taifan order so that you can get more bang for your buck. You might want to go for people that use the tongs to serve you food rather than the ladder. I have set up Singapore's unofficial Taifan Association and gathered Taifan stall owners and a marketing expert who says he's got some solutions to end the conflict between stallholders and customers. Okay, so how about another solution where we could have zoning? All right, so we zone the, the, the dishes based on yeah, like prices. Does this work here? Okay, because we are 就是有时候你你来吃这个摊位，你会想到说哇，炒到这么美丽，很好吃。就是搭配嘛，如果你全部一起放菜，就不美了嘛，一起放肉，有时候黑嘛。然后你搭配菜肉，菜肉这样你看
This leaves me with one last mission on my plate. While we cannot haggle our way into a lower price, are there hacks to getting the most bang for my buck? Who better to ask than a Taifan store owner who owns three branches across Singapore? Hey Javier, hi. So I want to ask you, what are some of the hacks you have for how I can maximize my portion of economy rise without having to pay more? When you approach us as a customer, you should maybe like smile, be friendly, because like sometimes we get it out, we have a bad day, we have also having a bad day, so right. it might affect a bit of uh, uh, the amount that we serve you. Okay. Then secondly, you might want to go for people that use the tongs to serve you food rather than the ladder. Why uh, tongs? Uh, because than tongs usually on the first time basis, you tend to give slightly lesser. We will tend to take it the second time. So there's uh, slightly more to it rather okay. than the ladder. So one, one scoop is one scoop, yeah. that's it. Whereas yeah, with the tongs, so, you tend to add on a little bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Another small hack that I realised, uh, you might want to separate your rice and your dishes. So right, we tend right. to put a bit more dishes for you as well. Okay, I will show it to you. Uh. Okay. So let's say you put a uh, chicken, ladies, and maybe an egg. Uh. Okay. Okay, so this is what you're gonna get. Okay. Okay. So this is the together egg, one. veg and some meat. Alright. So if you were to separate it, when we are serving, we will find that eh, actually you feel that like it's a bit empty. Yeah. So you will tend to you know like <laughs> put a bit more for you. And what do you think are some of the dishes I should choose to get the most value for money when I'm ordering the food? I recommend you dishes with a mixture, two kinds of different veggies within that same one dish. You can actually go for the sweet and sour pork as well. The sweet and sour pork is probably around 130, 150 at economic rice store. Whereas if you pay for zi cha, it's like simply around $8, $10 for one plate. Do these hacks really work? Only one way to find out. I'm getting my producer Charmaine for a face-off, or should I say an eat-off? Hello, For once, I am not smiling for the camera. Okay. Okay, thank you. Well, here are the results. We ordered exactly the same thing. You'll be the judge of who got the bigger portion. I got like four pieces of tomato, you only got two. Who eats tomatoes? I want the Yeah, eggs. I got three cucumbers, you only have... No, no. Yeah, no cucumber, you know? Nope. 